Organize Me Radio, episode 77, Organize.Supply. I'm Naima Ford-Goldson. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Organize Me Radio. I'm Naima Ford-Goldson, and today's guest is the founder of Organize.Supply. Please welcome Sean McElroy. Welcome, Sean. Thanks, Emma. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm really excited to learn a little bit more about Organize.Supply. Can you tell us, what is it? What is Organize.Supply? Yeah, so Organize.Supply really is a supply chain management solution for professional organizers to be able to shop multiple storefronts all at once. Think of it like a giant shopping mall. And instead of going to each individual store, you just go to the information desk and say, I need this. And every storefront comes out with their own product line straight to you, right on your screen. Why did you find the need to create Organize.Supply? Yeah, so my wife is actually a professional organizer herself and I, I manage her books. And one day I was going through her books, I literally found 89 miles of driving in a single day without even having a client on the books. And I asked her about it. I'm like, what were you doing all day? <laughs> and she goes, I was driving from store to store trying to find bins. I'm like, you can't find bins? Like, that that seems dumb. But in all reality, I looked back over the books and it was, you know, 120 miles, even with clients on the books, 150 miles and all that mile adds up into gas gas adds up into dollars and uh you know especially in the economy we're in today and uh i'm like there's got to be a better way than driving from store to store and so i started compiling all the different uh stores that she shopped at into a data bank inside microsoft excel started looking at it and i i thought back to my childhood i had actually started uh a, a early on affiliate marketing site uh, special edition Monopoly games, <laughs> it's gone. It's no longer there. But uh, meanwhile, the concept prevailed. Like, what if there was a niche site utilizing affiliate marketing to bring products straight to the hands of the organizers that need them? Because um, marketing is, is marketing and supply chain management go hand in hand with one another. Uh, when a business, one business markets to a customer, they're promoting the products, but they're promoting the products that a person needs, uh, that that business needs. And in turn, supply chain management is literally shopping for the products that you need. Uh, and so uh, the two worlds definitely collide. And we're just that intermingling point that makes it relatively easy and, uh, you know, quick and easy and efficient for somebody to shop on. It's so funny um, that you mentioned your wife was taking time, like driving from store to store, trying to find products, because I think a lot of professional organizers can relate with that, whether it's driving from store to store or if it is, um, you know, scouring the Internet, trying to find product for your clients. I mean, I think for me. Um, I've spent hours on, on the internet just trying to find things for one client, you know? So mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it really is a thing and it's an issue. And I think it's good that we now have, like you're solving a problem in the organizing industry. So I think that's great. You know, and it's funny that you mentioned it as an industry, Naima, because According to OSHA, who manages the standard industry classification, as well as the NAICS codes um, ma managed by the Census Bureau, professional organizing has yet to actually be recognized as an official industry, wow. which is a problem. And big business has ignored it for too long. And, and even as you look at the NAICS code, they actually did recognize it in 2022 uh, under a code of 815990 which is personal services not elsewhere classified. Mm. Uh, and one of our biggest back-end goals is getting organization recognized actually as an aspect of either interior design or, or therapy services, which I'm sure you recognize oh, yeah. is both. <laughs> but, um, you know, the same category is used for babysitters, for live-in nannies, hmm. um, and, and things of that nature. And it just doesn't, 
it's going to continue to be ignored until it is recognized. That's so interesting because the industry is growing rapidly. Like there are new organizers, it seems every day. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. I've been in the business for 11 years now, and it's a lot bigger than it was when I started. But even so, when I started, there were still mm -hmm. a lot of organizers when I started, you know? Yeah. So it's just, it's crazy that it's not recognized. Over 100,000 and growing. Industry, yeah. you know? That's yeah. so interesting. Um, can you tell me what is your uh, professional background um, that caused you to be here? Um, a little bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I spent 15 years as a as a culinary artist uh, and chef, and uh, my eyes got too bad to continue with the profession anymore. Um, and I I bounced around from industry to industry everything from manufacturing and retail management and uh, ultimately wound up with Dun & Bradstreet um, and spent several years with them actually not only tack tackling it from a small business financial perspective, but also from a data pr perspective. Um, and that's where I first really started diving into data management as a whole, which is more or less what organized that supply is, is a giant database. Um, and but uh, ultimately, I was with them throughout the supply chain crisis uh, back at, during COVID. And a lot of it had, uh, a lot of the back end things that I was working on was stemmed directly around that. Um, it, from the supply risk management perspective, you know, working with them to try to develop a solution for uh, small, small retailers and e-tailers to use, something for wholesalers to use, something for um, manufacturers to use, and and the reality that I came up with, uh, they're they're still working on developing even three years after I've gone. Wow! Um, but it is a solution that is geared towards all of them, all at once. Because the fact of the matter is, everything that we do is is globally interconnected with one another. Uh, you know, you buying that that cube system for your clients. Is going to impact a worker in uh, overseas in Vietnam and China, or China, or maybe both, depending on where the screws came from. Uh, and, and it's the reality that we're all globally interconnected. Um, and and my foremost principle is operating with love, uh, whether it be love for people, love, whether it be love for a product, whether it be love for humanity, whatever it may be. Uh, you know, operate with love, and you can do no wrong. Uh, and so that's where I, I kind of my background came into all this. <laughs> and uh, it's just been a matter of being in the right place at the right time. Gotcha. So tell us, how does organize.supply work? How does the website work? Well, essentially, you log on. I have put literally every last product right on the homepage. And you start out, uh, theoretically, you start your journey. A lot of organizers I've noticed through my analytics have tried browsing it. You don't browse this thing. You go there for a purpose. <laughs> um, in the top left corner, you'll see a filter that says, what are you trying to organize? That is literally the question on the table. What are you trying to organize? Are you trying to organize arts and crafts? Are you trying to organize um, paperwork? Are you trying to organize school supplies? And some of those categories are coming soon. So it can be wrong. There's a lot of tags for me to apply to, because everything has multiple functions. For instance, is this a coffee cup or is it a pen holder? You know, <laughs> so there's infinite solutions there uh, by, by starting from the base problem. Um, meanwhile, the second, the second question that's built into that same filter is where are we trying to organize it? Are we trying to organize it in a cabinet? Are we trying to organize it on a shelf? Are we trying to organize it in a drawer? Um, and then it gets into the nitty gritty of things. Um, meanwhile, some of the the other filter that we put into play there, uh, right next to it is what room are we standing in? Are we standing in a dining room? Are we trying to organize a meal even uh, inside a dining room? You know, uh, organizing a meal inside a dining room is gonna be a little bit different than organizing a meal in a kitchen. Um, you know, what do you need to organize a meal in a kitchen? Well, probably a, maybe a lazy Susan in the center of the table. Well, well, in a dining room, you might actually have a full buffet um, or, or side. 
And so from that, we get into the actual product feature. Um, we then answer the questions of what is my price range? What is the height of the space that I had to work with? Maybe you're working with a shelf that is sitting at 52 inches and you can't go above that. Or maybe you want to even leave a buffer for a bottle of vino um, and only want to go upwards of 40 inches with whatever that is, might be. Um, and what's the width? What's the depth? Um, we are working towards adding in materials. It's been a little bit tough getting some of that information from some of the ad partners that we have, some of the suppliers that we have on there. Um, just because they're coming to realize as as these questions get posed to them, they don't even know. Mm. Uh, sometimes, you know, is, is this is, is this truly wood or is this or is this a press board type material that is 80 percent sawdust and 20 percent glue? Uh, so we're working on getting some of those things in there as well as getting color in there uh, to provide for more a, a, an aesthetic feel uh, to some of the spaces that we work in. You know, color is probably the least important of of them because your guys' goal is getting them organized. It's not necessarily, it's not always pretty, uh, but it, it needs to get done. <laughs> right, so, yeah. So um, I definitely think it, it could be a mixture of both, you know, some are just aesthetic organizers and in some it's just you know solving the problem for the client decluttering creating a system getting them organized so you're able it sounds like you're able to figure out what the dimensions are you know of the space and then type the dimensions into the website is that correct to search uh we run on slide bars for now uh because quite frankly i'm not a coder <laughs> um, and a lot of those things do require coding, uh, various coding elements. And it, uh, I, just to get the search functionality up and running uh, for a user to type in a search was daunting for me. It, I, I probably watched the same 15 minute YouTube video eight times over just to figure it out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it, it does run on a slide bar system. Uh, it does work on every last computer I've used it on. And meanwhile, I'm getting Ports, though that I it has it doesn't work on all cell phones, okay. um, but it does work on tablets. So if you're if you're running on your phone and it's not working, sorry in advance. I, I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, but it's still new, right? It's still new. Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. Of course, be some uh, kinks that you yeah, have to work out. Exactly. We're we're we've been live for a total of fifty five days now. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So we're catching you at the very beginning. At the very beginning. Exactly. <laughs> so so what types of product are on um, the website? So for example, a closet. Um, I specialize in closet closet design, and um, in your closet there are so many different things like your accessories, your shoes, your short hanging, long hanging things of that nature. You can look for maybe shoe storage, shelf dividers, um, bins, baskets, but also a closet system. Do you offer things like that, like maybe freestanding systems or some sort of shelving systems as well? Yeah, we do. Uh, we offer a lot of different things uh, on that line, uh, along those lines. In fact, we just added uh, the Container Stores Alpha series uh, in as of uh, late last week. Um, Meanwhile, you know, you'll find everything from, you know, freestanding fixtures. We've got those segmented out separate from uh, the items that you would utilize on a shelf. So, for instance, and meanwhile, you know, you look at my shoe organizers, uh, if you pull those up, um, you'll see that the, I have freestanding fixtures that are designed for entryways. We have over the door hanging systems for, you know, behind closet doors. Uh, to all the way uh, into the Alpha series of of uh, they're the mesh rack systems that you put into the Alpha Alpha system as a whole that are designed for shoes as well. Uh, so you'll find a number of different things on there, and meanwhile you'll find things. I, I actually had an email come back from a organizer last week. He's like, the the gentleman was like, why do you have desk organizers inside a or drawer organizers inside of barware and i'm like 
because you can easily use those inside a bar. Yeah, All you yeah. do is flip the problem on its head. Let's go ahead and stick, you know, where you would normally put your post-it notes, let's put coasters in there. And meanwhile, where you would normally put your pens and pencils, let's go ahead and put uh, either straws or maybe even utilize it for uh, speed pours for bar for uh, liquor bottles. You know, and it becomes a matter of utilizing things creatively. Does it matter what, it, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day, what something is used for. It, it doesn't matter what it, what it's supposed to do. It matters what it can do. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good point um, because a lot of times you can think outside the box when it comes to um, storage. For example, I saw um, a picture of angled shoe shelving for wine storage. And I was like, huh, that's that actually works because it's pretty <laughs> because it has like a little um, kind of ledge on there. And it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I never thought about that. But, you know, I think that that's great because a lot of times, you know, people might be looking for something specific for a certain item. And then if they're able to search and they see, you know, something that's out of the ordinary, like, oh, that can work mm -hmm. for this, you know? So I think that's great. What is the best way for a person to get the most out of this website? So the, the big thing is understanding those filters. Understand those filters at the top. Understand that what you see on your screen might not be the most traditional solution, but it's a solution no less. And if, if you've got your filters coded in there correctly, you should have no problem finding exactly what you need every single time. As of right now, we've got 4,000 products on there and I've got, I literally have over half a million products backlogged that I still need to load into this wow. database. So the other thing is sign up, become a member. You do not have to ever become a member, but one of the nice things is, is that you get my direct email address when you become a member. You get an account, uh, account, manager, uh, an account manager assigned to your business that is there. Hey, do you have anything that would work for this? And you can send me a picture, send me a screenshot of whatever you're working with, and we'll work on that on the back end and then email it to you. You know, and the expedite product being loaded onto that website specific to your needs. The uh, the nice thing with that, is, you know, we actually just had our first customer use it, uh, use that function just uh, last Friday. And she was able to get it turned around to her customer on Saturday, and she is installing the solution tomorrow. Um, so it works just to, not as quickly as the search, but the nice thing with that is, like I said, I've got half a million products. Not everything's up there yet. Like I said earlier in the show, we are just 55 days into operations and, and still growing and a lot of work to be done. Um, you know, the other thing is, is that by becoming a member, you do also gain access to our suppliers list. So you can actually go and browse their sites directly. And we've actually got, direct links not only into their coupon codes but also into their trade programs into their wholesale programs those trade programs are hugely beneficial to professional organizers because of the fact that you can sit down and you can negotiate terms with them hey i need this to be paid when paid my customer can't pay and pay me until two weeks from now can you work on these terms with me um and some might say yes, some might say no, you know, I'm not speaking for any of them directly, but the nice thing is, is that those things are there exclusively to our members. Uh, we are also working on bringing a design tool, which will be also be available exclusively to members here in the near future. Um, and that way you can lay out your space before you actually, uh, before you actually do it. Uh, don't get me wrong, we're still months out from completing that project. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I hope to have that in order before the uh, ICD conference uh, coming up in September. Okay, that's great. Okay, so then is there a way for um, organizers to um, separate their jobs, like create lists, create shopping lists, or um, separate things per client or per job? It's coming soon. Um, I am actually working with Wix, our web hosting company, to buy more data space. Um, 
for that functionality because I'm limited to just 10,000 lines of, of product right now in my service. Uh, and in turn, every time an organizer adds something to their own list, that, that takes away from one more product that we can have out there. But we are working on a solution for that uh, for the long term. Uh, and we hope to even make those as to where they can organize it by client and, and kind of operate from a uh, perspective of not even just um, the organizer chooses the product, but the organizer chooses what type of product they need to have, plugs in the dimensions, plugs in the filtered dimensions, and allows the customer to actually choose, okay, you need three containers that cannot exceed 12 inches in height and four inches in diameter for your kitchen count. Pick them. And it only shows the customer, doesn't give the customer the ability to modify the filters in any way, shape, or form because we know how some of them shop. Um, but the bigger fact it becomes, okay, this is exactly what I need. What's the right fit for me? And allows an even greater customization solution for the home. Um, and creates that shopping list where both the organizer, the shopper, or the client, and and meanwhile, the store gets to see exactly what the customer needs in so, advance. So why do you think the um, organizer should utilize your website rather than going directly to the retailer? Well, what happens when that retailer is out of stock mm. on something? Do you want to, you know... Right now, I'm I'm talking to you from Greensboro, North Carolina. The closest container store we have to us is Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, about about 60 miles away and about an hour hour 15 minutes drive. The next closest container to us is Charlotte, in the opposite direction, and about 90 minutes, away. about two hours worth of drive time right in between. Now, does that prevent you from going onto their website? and finding you know exactly what you need in advance double checking to make sure it's in stock beforehand no by no means if you want to do that by all means uh meanwhile though where is the closest rebuy store rebuy is one of our ad partners specifically for shelter if they've got exactly what you need rebuy the closest rebuy store to us right here in greensboro north carolina is ventura california oh wow you're going to find suppliers on there that you've never heard of. But the big thing with us is we've gone through the process. We actually went through a process of vetting each one to double check and make sure their return policy is in order. And we guarantee that each supplier on there has at least a seven day return policy at a bare minimum. We gold for 30. I think only two of them do not adhere to that 30 day minimum, but some of them were, were, good enough product lines as to what we saw enough value in their product lines to say, I right, find, you know what, seven days is more than enough for somebody to open up a package and figure it out whether or not they, they need it or not in one of these situations. Uh, the other thing is, is that we also mandated that they have the ability to get their products to the United States within 30 days, within seven days, uh, anywhere within the U.S., seven to 15 business days at a bare minimum. If they exceeded 15 days in any portion of the country, we said no. We're not having you here. Um, if you bet at least that seven day standard, totally fine. You know, one week for delivery could be perfectly adequate to get from as far as Seattle, Washington, all the way down to to Miami. Um, even by grub. <laughs> um, now, it, the other big thing is that we went through also a financial betting process as well. Uh, to ensure that these companies are stable enough to support, uh, you know, additional business coming in from the professional organizing community. Because one of the things that we saw that some businesses were too new or too young, uh, too immature financially to to handle that sort of rapid growth. Um, and we wanted to ensure their stability. And so some of the things that we have on there, I think our youngest merchant on there is actually a... Uh, she does extended uh, the extra long hangers and the bar actually comes up from the uh, to take care of dresses and things of that nature. That's all they do. Um, and she got started in 2017. Um, 
so I think that is our actual youngest company out there. We don't have these fly by nights uh, from overseas that are taking, you know, four to six weeks to to ship their products over uh, over across the Pacific Ocean um, on there. So you'll find products on there that you may have never seen. And my wife always says, you, you don't know what you don't know. You might have this idea in your head of exactly what you want, but it's not always what you need. And you don't know until you find that experience. And, and that's exactly what we've got here is we're taking the best from every walk of life, from every, uh, from every storefront that we can that has proven themselves as, as a valid retailer um, to make sure, you know, that return policy thing also, we had to, we had to say nip, nip it in the bud because uh, some of these companies out there now make you go through an approval process before you return products to them. And we said, no, you're not, you're not sitting there asking questions. If you need an email from somebody to, to generate a shipping label for return label, fine. Whatever. Uh, that, that can be that. <laughs> but if you need to go through an approval process, if there's actually an approval process in place, no. We're not, we're not having you out there either because we want, uh, this is already an ordeal for your, for your, the organizer's clients. Um, you know, it's tough enough for them to get past the, the shame and the judgment that they often feel in going through this process by itself. They don't need additional people sticking their noses where they don't. Gotcha. Okay. So you mentioned registering um, on organized.supply. What is that process like to sign up? Uh, it is literally a matter of plugging in an email address, your name, the company that you re represent, and setting a password. Okay, so that's simple. So that's it. You're not having to fill out like a whole like you know sign your life away or or put in your hobbies or your birth date or <laughs> no, no, because you know what you're coming to us from a professional perspective and the reality is is that we're going to get to know your business you know we see those customized domain names on there we go and visit them every time uh we never sell anybody's data anywhere uh, it's going to be on your own accord if you choose to share it with any of your ad partners or anything like that um meanwhile it just boils down to understanding your business your shopping trends you know we do have some back-end algorithms that tie your purchases back to you uh, to understand what you're buying and what your clients need. Um, do we utilize that in any way, shape, or form? No, because your client is always going to be different. Um, every person is their own unique individual. And we recognize that fact. We don't need to know your hobbies or interests because you're a professional. You're a professional organizer. <laughs> you have an active interest in your client because your clients are your livelihood. Right. And at the end of the day, that's what we care about is you and your business and your clients and making sure that you have what you need to be successful. Okay. All right. So I got to know you are, um, you know, your entire website is about product. What are some of your favorite organizing products? Oh, man. Some of the some of my favorites i can't talk about just yet because i am working on deals with those companies <laughs> um but some of my favorites uh would have to be you know that's a tough one uh for me to answer because i'm not the organizer i'm not an organizer by any stretch of the imagination you see what's behind me it is a <laughs> giant cluster of <laughs> what, well, what about so i imagine your wife probably does most of the organizing around the house and she's a professional yeah. organizer is there something that she's done around the home that you really love you know as a whole yes i i have to say probably my favorite thing is actually the uh m design has come out with a Omni tier um, stacking rack. You know, we used to, my mother was huge on the uh, expandable three tier shelves, you know, for spices. 
And I thought that was the dumbest thing ever because you just wasted all that vertical space stepping up <laughs> to that the, to the back. But M Design has taken it to the to a new level as to where they actually have an adjustable mounting system that goes onto any shelf that you can customize up and down depending on what your needs are for your cabinets. I think that is probably my favorite as a as a former culinary artist um, because now you can actually really just jam all that down into one one vertical space without having to buy additional shelving. Um, you know, and meanwhile, my favorite organizing, my favorite organizing product is still the classic screw into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> hang it up. If it's got a hook, hang it up. <laughs> got it, got it. Okay, great. So uh, final question, can you tell us what um, is your greatest professional achievement? My my greatest professional achievement was um, probably reimagining the business cycle to Dun and Bradstreet, and the reason for that was, uh, you know, quite frankly, the the business cycle as a whole is literally coming to scale from a perspective of capital management to acquiring customers to risk management to supply chain management. And when you've maxed out your customer base, you've maxed out your supply chain, you've optimized your risk, then it's time to scale again, get more capital. And the reality is, is that as one of the oldest companies in the world, at just shy of 200, or oldest companies in the U.S., pardon me for that matter, they, they had lost track of that somehow. And by getting them to reinvigorate that, that, that allowed them to move forward with understanding that it's time for us to reintroduce something new uh, from the supply chain scale. And and meanwhile, I, I'm proud to say that it, despite the fact that I no longer work for them, um, nor do I represent their views, from the best of my understanding, they are still pursuing that and uh, trying to reinvigorate the economy. And that's exactly what, what I strive to do is reinvigorating our economy and reinvigorating us, our society. And well, I'll never receive any recognition for it. Mm. I don't care achievement no less i love it sean thank you so much for being on the show with us can you tell everyone how they can find out more information about you and about organized.supply you know i myself i keep myself as a pretty private person as a whole you're not going to find much information out there on me <laughs> don't, don't try looking too hard um you know and meanwhile for more information on organized.supply you can log on to that website. We've been saying it the whole episode, organize.supply. That dot supply is a domain extension that just like dot com now. Uh, and you'll see more and more of those dot everything's popping up left and right in the near future as uh, the dot coms have become exhausted from simple terms. But just type in organize.supply in your browser and uh, you'll find us. Name it's been great being here. Thank you for having me, truly. Thank a pleasure. You so much. I really appreciate your time. Equally so. Equally so. Thank you all for joining us. Be sure to tune in next time for an all new episode.